Well, it says two things. It says, uh, you know, first of all, we're going to get a lot more issuance. And, you know, reopening the 20-year, the 20-year size was bigger than expected. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of what we're going to see from Treasury auction sizes on all parts of the curve going forward as, as we look to pay for and fund this, this historic expansion of, of fiscal policy. So that being said, it went a little bit better than expected, but this is a taste of, of, of stuff to come. So, so what's your view, Jeffrey, on, on U.S. Treasuries? Would you be a buyer of them at the moment? So, you know, the U.S. Treasury market is in a very different place. And, you know, the other big news outside of, of course, the, the, the Treasury auction is, is the FOMC minutes. And everyone was, was very focused on whether we'd get more clarity about how the policy is going to evolve beyond just simply supporting market functioning. And we didn't really get that today. We'll look for that in the future. But what we have underlying support for market functioning was some discussion around what many market participants and talking about is the policy of implicit yield curve control. So what that means is we're no longer really setting Treasury yields. Are we buyers? Are we sellers based on economic fundamentals, expectations of inflation? We're simply looking to what is the Fed going to do? What rates will they tolerate? What curve shape will they want to see? Because this is no longer really a free market that's determining prices, but really the Fed mm. using its balance sheet to offset the supply. So are you saying that the bond market is totally disconnected from the economic reality? No, it's not totally disconnected because the economic reality is what is ultimately driving the Fed's policy decisions, the attainment of their objectives. But there's a much, much more forceful intervention in the market today, it, it, you know, in, in a very short period of time, we have effectively altered the structure of how monetary and fiscal policy works. And you have to appreciate how large of a change it is when the Fed took interest rates to zero and said our balance sheet is at the use is for the use of fiscal policy. We will maintain and support market functioning. We have seen an enormous expansion of the balance sheet in order to accomplish that. And so, yes, you're, you're suspending a lot of the old ways of thinking about how investors set prices and in, in, injecting a huge new player, the size, the unlimited size of the Fed's balance sheet. So this is absolutely a huge structural change in how investors assess, how we assess, uh, you know, what is value, what, are, what is the right level for bonds in the, in the market. Jeffrey, what are investors doing with, with fixed income? I mean, uh, are, are they still treating it overall as a safe haven and they don't really kind of care how much it's run up? Or, or are they kind of price sensitive and, and selling their bond uh, allocations? Well, you know, it's interesting. You, I, I listened in to the earlier uh, speaker and he was talking about, you know, how he uses bonds and he shifts his, 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 his stock allocation and uses bonds out of that. And that's a very traditional way of thinking about stock bond allocation. But I think you're going to and investors are really going to have to rethink that assessment in the environment of what I just described as a, a, a very quick restructuring of how the bond market works. You have now uh, the proximity to the zero lower bound. So the biggest issue now, if you're using bonds as safety to offset your equities, well, you just have a lot less of that safety in the potential for bond yields to fall. You're much closer to the zero lower bound. So you still have it. The Fed will ramp up forward guidance and QE if there's another downturn. But the degree to which you're going to get that benefit is much, much lower. And so you're going to need to rethink what that mixture of stock bonds means in a world of zero interest rates and in a world where the 30-year is much closer and the back end of the curve is much closer to zero interest rates than we saw the last time right after the 08 crisis that we had zero interest rate policy. So it is a very different environment for bond investing.